wanted to go over the first problem on lesson 28. So I need you to have your problem set in front of you along with either a whiteboard or a piece of paper to write on. Um, so in lesson 28, we are solving word problems with line plots. And you know, I really wanted to go over what a line plot is gonna look like with this problem. Um, so again, you need to have this out in front of you. We have a set of data and on our problem set, it says that the chart to the right um, shows the distance that fourth graders in Miss Smith's class were able to run before stopping for a rest. Create a line plot to display the data in the table. So we're gonna take this data, which is how far each of these fourth graders were able to run, um, and we're gonna put them into a line plot. Now a line plot is similar to a number line, so um, we need to look at our data and we need to ask ourselves what our benchmarks are going to be, okay? Um, so on your paper, your whiteboard, we're gonna start off by drawing a number line. And I want you to take a moment to look at the data and what are the numbers that we should mark on our number line? I want you to pause the video and think about that for just a moment. Hopefully you pause the video. Um, so we notice that 5 eighths is the smallest fraction. Um, it's less than 1, so we know that we can't start our number line at 1. We have to start it at 0. So we know we're going to start at 0. Um, and then you'll also notice that the rest of our fractions are mixed fractions. You have two and one half, one and three fourths, two and one eighth, and so on. Um, we have fractions that are greater than two, um, but we don't have any that are greater than three. Um, but if we made the end of our number line a two, then we wouldn't be able to mark a lot of our data. So we're gonna make the end of our number line three and then we're just going to label one and two where they belong one would be about here and two is about here it might not be perfect and that's okay alrighty so now we still need to um, finish creating our number line by putting in the fractional units okay and um, you might notice that we have in this data set, we have halves, we have fourths, we have eighths. So we're gonna take the largest fractional unit that we have. Our largest fractional unit in this case is eighths. So we're gonna take um, our number line and we're gonna split each of these holes into eighths. I'm gonna give you a moment to do that and I'm also gonna do it as well. All right, so I'm gonna suggest that if you're still um, finishing up your number line that you pause so you can finish up writing out your eighths. Um, otherwise, we're gonna continue. Alrighty, so in a line plot, we essentially are graphing the data on a number line and we're gonna be using X's to show how many times each number appears in our data set. So we're gonna start off by doing the first few together and then you'll finish on your own. So we look at the first student, we have Joe. He was able to run two and a half miles before stopping for a rest. I just need to say real quick, you guys, looking at this data, these people are running two and a half miles, two and five eighths miles without stopping. Mm -mm. I could never do that. I really admire them. That's really cool. Anywho. Um, so our first person, we have Joe, he ran a distance of two and a half miles. So two and one half. Um, we have two here, but one half, we have these marked into eights. So I want you to think to yourself, how could we take two and one half and plot that on the correct 
um, place on our number line. We are using eighths. What can we do to figure out what where two and one half might be? Hmm. Well, we need to make our, our denominator, our units are eighths. And if we have two and one half, um, our, denomina our, our denominator, our unit is halves. So we need to make that into a denominator of eight. So how do we get from two to eight? We multiply times four. So when we are making equivalent fractions, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So we'll multiply one half, and I'll just do this work on the whiteboard for just the first one. Um, we'll do one half times four over four. That gives us four eighths. Okay, so we know that two and one half is gonna be is equivalent to two and four eighths. So we go over to two and we're gonna count one, two, three, four eighths is right here. Wonderful. Okay, um, so we go to the next one, one and three fourths. You know what? We're gonna have a similar issue here. You know what? Let me get my eraser. I'm not a barbarian. I use erasers, not my fingers. Anywho, so we have one and three fourths, and our unit in one of three, one and three fourths is fourths. Again, we have eighths here, so we need to make this three fourths into a unit of eighths. So how can we get from, or how can we make an equivalent fraction um, with a denominator of eight? Okay, we have three fourths. How can we make um, this denominator an eight? Hmm. We can multiply by two. So if we multiply times two over two, we get six eight. Perfect. So one and three fourths is the same as one and six eighths. So we have one, one, one eighth, two, three, four, five, six eighths is going to go here. Okay. Um, so I would like for you guys to continue plotting all of the data on your line plot. I'm going to continue plotting mine as well. And when I'm done, I'll show you what your line plot should look like before you move forward into the problem set. Um, I suggest that maybe you pause the video so that you can solve it yourself and then you can check your work. So I'm going to plot the rest of my points real quick. Uh, and friends, I'm going to suggest that you label your points as well because you will be referencing them in the problem set. So real quick, I'm just going to label my fractions. They're going to be really squished, but that's okay. We will live to it's almost done. Oh my gosh, it's so squished. But that's okay. All right. So this is what your line plot should look like when you're finished. My suggestion is that you pause the video on this so that you can continue um, to check your work. And then you are all set to go for the rest of the problem set. Hooray! Alrighty, if you have questions, you can just rewatch the video. Um, and Miss Coach and I are available to... Um, answer questions at our Zoom meetings. Alrighty, thanks for watching.